In our studio, not wearing his tuxedo, is Jerry Isherwood. <laughs> yeah, I remember that remember very that well. Day in yeah. the tux? Yes, it was. Uh, it was a new cigarette, Ambassador, I think it was. Really? And I was the I, I was the ambassador. That's why we 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 borrowed the car. That was back in the days, Jerry, when we were allowed to advertise for yes. cigarettes. And we had my our old friend Bobby Brown uh, done up as the uh, as the page. He's featured in many of the schemes I've pulled up. <laughs> yes. Bobby and I were and still are, I'm very pleased to say, great friends. Okay, we're back in business with busy, busy lines this morning. And uh, just before I turn to the calls, Jerry Isherwood, we skipped uh, an era in broadcasting that mm -hmm. you mentioned. Uh, the, the time that you went from Halifax to the CBC and then to New York with WOR and the NBC. Yeah. Some of the highlights of your NBC days, you were doing the Merv Griffith. Show, yeah, the afternoon version of uh, uh, Merv was totally, well, no, I wouldn't say totally unknown. He'd been a game show host, you know, like so many of them were. And he got his first afternoon show on NBC, and I just happened to be in the area at the time when talk was all big. You can rec maybe recall in the 60s that talk for a while was the king. Yes. In fact, yes. WOR was the talk station. Mm -hmm. And I did the all-night, the long John Neville show. He's dead now, unfortunately. It was the only all-night talk show in the world at the time. We had ticker machines in the studio, and people could send in questions and comments. It was a remarkable show, and he was a very remarkable man. So I was working for Goodson Todman and uh, doing panel shows for them. When you were with Merv, who were some of the, the stars that appeared on the show during that, that uh, period? Well, instead of having a, a band, a, 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 a constant band, he'd have a different band lead. And I'm bound to say that the band was very largely the same every mm -hmm. week. But Xavier Cougat would run it one week. Okay. Peter Nero would run it the other. Um, I'm just Lionel Hampton would run it for another week. Uh, and it was still a top-notch NBC studio band. And I could, that show actually did win an, a New York um, award, a New York Times award, but the, the rating wasn't there. I guess it wasn't commercial enough, mm. and it didn't last. But tremendous days.